So instead of coming to you from inside the RV, I'm actually out camping. Uh, we got the chance to get away. I'm in Berlin, Maryland at a place called Castaways RV Resort. Um, it's a great place. It's right on the beach. Really nice tropical feel. It's like the Florida Keys up here in the Northeast. So um, today I was thinking about uh, something I could do a short video because I really I wasn't really shooting too much here. I was doing some shooting of the RV and things like that, but uh, we didn't really travel around too much over here. But I was thinking about spending your money and, you know, with all the photography gear that we buy and we talk about, or is it maybe better spent going places and doing things? So I'm using myself as an example. Everybody I know, all of my photographer friends are all switching over to mirrorless cameras. I mean, Eric on this channel, you know, has the Canon R and a lot of my other friends who shoot Nikon have either gotten Z6s or Z7s. And I'm still shooting with a D750 DSLR. And I really don't have a need for a new camera. But it would be nice to get some new technology and, um, you know, kind of see what the fuss is all about. But then I was thinking, you know, this year I plan on traveling with uh, the camper here and going to different places around the country. And I think, for me, that's money better spent. I mean, my camera's fine. I know how to use it. The images I get out of it I love. Um, if you checked our Instagram page, you know, you know, it takes perfectly fine picture, uh, pictures and there's nothing wrong with it. And all of the lenses, if you look at last week's video, I'll leave a little, um, little link for it up here somewhere. But I went to New York City and we were shooting around and I was just using the different lenses I have in my bag. They're all fine. You know, some of them I've had for five, six years. Some of them are 20 year old lenses. I mean, but they work fine. I get great images out of them. So I'm thinking that I'm over the next year, I'm probably not gonna buy much in the way of gear, unless the new Canon M50 Mark II comes out, because that I'm curious about, because I enjoy making these videos, and uh, I like the Canon M50, and it's something we really dug into this year. So I might trade in this M50 to get the Mark II, and see if there's any differences and things like that, and I know you guys would be interested in that. But as far as my DSLR and my more you know, photography-based stuff, uh, I'm gonna keep using what I have right now, and I'm gonna spend the money on travel, uh, going to see different places, uh, you know, maybe put myself in situations that I'm that are new to me, where I get my creativity going. So that's what I'm planning on doing. So if I have any advice to a new photographer or someone who's in that gear acquisition stage, maybe you want to get out, go somewhere, see something you haven't seen before, something you haven't shot before, and you know, spend your money there, getting images that you couldn't get in your location where you live. Uh, I have friends that have traveled, they've done um, workshops uh, in Iceland, and they travel to the you know western part of the United States, and they go to these dark sky places to shoot the Milky Way. So there's a lot of different places you can go that might be different from where you live that have some really cool uh, and different photo challenges for you. Or, you know, I, I get also, if you can't get away as much, um, and if you have a good, you know, setup already, then shoot locally. But maybe you can even spend time traveling around, you know, within a couple of hundred miles of your home and just go out on weekend trips and, you know, maybe a hotel here, a hotel there, um, and, and just, you know, try to spend some time exploring a little closer to home, but, you know, just places you haven't been before. So that was my video idea for today. I just needed something quick. We're uh, packing up in a little while starting to make the six hour drive back up to New York. Um, so Maryland, we are, today's June 1st, 2020, and uh, the restrictions have definitely been lifted a bit, and the boardwalk was filled with people, the beaches were open this weekend, and uh, you know, things are starting to open up a little bit, which is nice to see. The campground was crowded here over the weekend, a lot of kids having fun. The water was cold and people were in it, I don't know, you know, it was too cold for me, but there were people having fun. And uh, this little thing here, if you happen to see this, yeah, I uh, walked into my truck door like an idiot. So uh, <laughs> sorry about you having to see this, but uh, sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm not thinking. Okay, so um, if you have, have any comments about this or anything else, you know, leave them below. Uh, I'd love to know where you are at. Are you still gathering up gear? Are you still, like, researching everything? Or are you starting to research trips and places to go? Uh, I can tell you right now I'm going to South Carolina, um, heading over to the Panhandle of Florida at some point this year. Two places, um, I've been to South Carolina before, but this is a different area, and uh, we're going to be in the Destin area of Florida, which is supposed to be great for RVing, 
and uh, that's a whole new part of Florida that I've never seen before. And I think we're heading up to the Adirondacks also, to a different, like the Lake George region. Now I've been up there, but it's been a while, and uh, I like going up into the mountains. That's uh, it always offers a new new challenge. Maybe so I can find some waterfalls. So I, mean, I have some trips planned, and once the national parks start opening up again, uh, I want to make a trip to Luray, Virginia, and go to the Shenandoah National Park there. So these are my exciting things that I'm looking forward to this year photographically. Not a new camera, not new lenses, just getting out there and shooting more. So that's, uh, that's it. Hope you guys are all doing well out there and uh, I'll see you in the next video.